Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been about a week since my last video, and for this, I am very sorry. Today, I'm going to talk to you about making a good confession. I'm going to discuss the reasons for the sacrament that you might not expect. And near the end, I'll share with you an act of contrition that I created off of scripture. When I make a confession, I like to go face to face. When I make a video, it's the opposite. So allow me to go behind the screen and let's begin. Many of us know instinctively that sin damages us as individuals and going to confession allows God to heal us. This is a good reason to go but there's another reason that people don't often think about. We are not only reconciling to God, but to his church as well. Our sins have a social dimension. Whether our actions are good or bad, they all affect the community of God's people. Acknowledging this is important when making a good confession. If we were to go outside a Catholic church when reconciliation was offered, and we asked the people exiting the doors why they went to confession, you would likely get two answers. One would be, I sinned and I don't want to go to hell. And the other answer would be, I hate my sin because it hurts God. These are the two forms of contrition. One is imperfect, and the other is perfect, but both are valid. I would argue, though, that it should be our goal to aim for perfect contrition. The reason I say this is because our Christianity is not based primarily on rules. The rules exist because of a relationship. It's our relationship with God. And because we are all desired by him to be his adopted sons and daughters, the rules exist to help us love one another as well. If you were somehow able to get a list of all of the sins that you committed in your lifetime, I think there would be a common thread. These would be the times when you put something else in front of God. Sin is a failure in genuine love for God and our neighbors caused by a perverse attachment to certain goods. When sin takes hold in our lives, we actively choose to defy God. We think we know better than him, we know it's wrong, and we do it anyway. Going to confession is very rarely easy. It's difficult to hear your own voice, recite your own faults, to your own priest who is there as Christ. However, there's freedom in having our souls cleansed and being set right with God. Oftentimes, we know we have done wrong and we are hardest on ourselves. Yes, God is a God of justice, but we forget that our punishment comes from not relying on him. Since we have free will in order to love, it is possible for us to be separated from him. If we choose to turn from him, we also must remember, though, that he is a God of mercy as well. Rather than just despairing over our sins, we need to surrender to God and lay them down at the foot of the cross so his mercy can wash over us and fix our brokenness. Making a good confession should include these things. Understanding our temptations and the weaknesses that go with them. An examination of conscience so we can take responsibility for the fact that we went against the Lord's will, accepting the Lord's mercy and his power to forgive our sins, and allowing ourselves to be brought back into relationship with Christ and his church. We need to be honest about sin. We need to admit that in this broken world, sin does indeed exist. And we do, in fact, sin. 
we need to make sure that we don't obsess over our sins. The key to holiness is to move from a preoccupation with evil and instead put the emphasis on a relationship with God in the person of Christ. We are weak, and he is not. If we rely on Christ, we have access to the entire Trinity, including the Father. Jesus gave us a glimpse of the endless mercy of the Father in the parable of the prodigal son. If we have left him, he pines for us to return. After all, he is our Father. So instructed by Jesus on how to have a relationship with the Father, let's do an examination of conscience with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, if I say you are my Father, my Lord, do I have the humility to come to you as a little child? Do I really rely on you? Or do I try to rely on myself? Do I think about the place where you are and realize that it's where I'm meant to be? Hallowed be thy name. You are holy, O Lord. Do I recognize this? Do my actions portray this belief? Have I blasphemed you with my wickedness? Have I used your name in vain? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, do I appreciate what you have given me in this world and realize it in the context of heaven? Do I squander the material goods that I have? Do I live in excess? at times? Do I realize that it is your will that I should be following and not my own? Give us this day our daily bread. Have I fully appreciated the manna that you give me every day? Have I taken this nourishment and used it to evangelize others? Or have I stood by idly when I could have been doing your work? Do I accept the grace that you have given to me through the sacraments? Have there been times where I have received the Eucharist unworthily? And forgive us our trespasses. Do I fail to uphold the dignity of your other children? Do I do this by acting out in anger? Do I do this by acting out in impurity? Do I take from people what isn't mine? Do I destroy the reputations of others? As we forgive those who trespass against us, do I recognize your mercy, O Lord? Do I recognize that you forgive me if I am contrite? Do I see other people who are contrite but still hold on to past ways that they have wounded me? And lead us not into temptation. Do I avoid the near occasions of sin? Or have I decided ahead of time that I want to sin? Have I filled my time with things that are life-giving? Or have I sat idle and allowed myself to be tempted? But deliver us from evil. Am I vigilant in recognizing that Satan is active in this world? Do I protect myself from him and his lies by entrusting myself to Jesus Christ? Do I help others by making them aware of evil and guiding them towards you, O oh Lord? Amen. For your penance, watch three of my other projects and subscribe to this channel. I absolve you of this video. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.